What's up, guys? It's Preet's coming back to a brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today, we are back with the intrigue going for win number 65 in a row. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video and get a little bit of gaming going on. As I said, today is win number 65 in a row. We're getting up there in numbers. I mean, we're still kind of far away from where we got the last Eden streak. Uh, if you guys are new here, the reason the last Eden streak ended is because I just decided to end it. Uh, not because I lost. I mean, I did still lose. I decided to die early, stop it for a while. I took a break from YouTube. Uh, but today, the seed is EQ4DXLE7, and we look like Bane. And we have really good stats, really good damage, really good tier rate. And I don't know, I don't really get Tractor Beam too often, but I do really like seeing it. Because it makes some items very, very good. Like, if we can get Conjoined on this run, awesome. If we can get Triple Shot on this run, awesome. Anything that gives us multiple tiers is really, really good with this. Even uh, Loki's Horns is awesome. Like, Mom, the eye in the back of your head, Mom's eye, whatever it's called. There's a lot of really good stuff that we can get with this. So I'm excited to see how this run goes because Tractor Beam is just a cool item. And you don't see it too often. I feel like I used to see it all the time back in After with Plus. I feel like it was one of those items that was almost most runs. Like it was like one in five runs I would see it. And nowadays it's like, I don't know. I feel like I never see it. We do start with, uh, oh my gosh. We do also start with Scissors, which is one of the worst active vibes in the game. Because what happens is it makes your head go off your body, but it just makes your tears really really whack and you just shoot blood out of your head and it's really hard and you know what almond milk with this sounds like a really really good time because almond milk shoots tears in dummy directions but now it only shoots it straight and so it makes my life a little easier so it's gonna be a little bit rough i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be a little bit weird i don't know how to feel about this but we don't not take items the only time we don't take items is usually if it's ipecac like i will take ipecac but there's some rounds we can't take it like, I forgot what, what the run was. We had Tiny Planet, we saw Ipecac, and I knew I couldn't take it or else I was going to die. So, like, trust me, I'm going to take every item that I see. Because it's not fun to, like, pick and choose too much. Just take what the game gives you and see what happens. Because usually, like, a lot of cool things can happen. Like, there's some items that have really cool interactions and work really, really well. Wait a sec. Do we, can we take damage to the body? Only to the body. I mean, there's, some, there's some really cool interactions that you'll never know of unless you pick up every item you see. So, you might, you might as well do it. We should do start with the Champion Rag Mega, which is, I think this is the easier one, because this guy only summons the Black Spiders instead of summoning, like, the Rag Mega Spiders, or Ragman Spiders, which makes our life really easy. Like, watch this. It's just a regular spider. This is the easiest version of the Champion, because the room doesn't really get as cluttered, because it's only regular spiders. They take only a few shots to kill, unlike the Ragman Spiders that are just pretty much invincible, it seems like. But we will be having a lot of health for this run, and we're going to keep going. We're not going to go too slow on this floor. We're going to see where we can go with this, and hopefully we can get some good stuff. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to go for Angel Deals. That's a 100% guarantee. I don't think... Oh, that's too bad. I thought I was going to kill that spider before I got past it. Well, that's way too bad. Uh, but we are going to go for Angel Deals. I think Angel Deals are the only way to go right now. I've been taking Devil Deals way too much lately. And with this build, I think, honestly, Devil Deals won't be the worst, because what we're looking for is damage. But at the same time... Uh, Angel deals are just going to be just as good. We could get Sacred Heart. We could get Godhead. Godhead with this setup would be really cool because Godhead would give each one of our tiers. Okay, my, oh my gosh. I hate this room so much. Uh, Godhead would give each one of our tiers uh, a little little aura. And I'm literally just going to straight peek this forever. This is so rough. Can okay, I shoot tiers everywhere? We're fine. Since I, already lost my, since I already lost my Devil Deal, there's not really a reason for me to avoid taking damage. I mean, I should still avoid taking damage, but it's not bad for me to take damage. And I wish I would have came in here as soon as I got to this floor, because this would have guaranteed us our Devil Deal. But that's okay. Um, it's my bad. You kind of, If you have a lot of health, you should always go to the Curse Room. I don't know why I didn't go in there. Um, also, Adam Bomb commented la uh, last time. He said, in his opinion, he'd like to see more Blood Donation Machines. Honestly, I don't think I play them enough. I feel like that is pretty true. I try to play a little too safe. I feel like I play too risky with my soul hearts and way too safe with my red hearts, which does happen a lot. But I'm just like, if I don't need to, like, waste my health, there's no reason to. But I should just use... If I have health, I might as well do that. Might as well use the blood donation machines. Well, let me go to the item room real quick. See what we can get. I don't know what, if there's going to be a fun boss we're going to go to right now. I feel like it's just going to be a regular old run so far. Definitely not a mother run. A mother run means that we have to start out with like crazy stats and like just we're busted. Like we have to know from the beginning. It's like, okay, 
this is it like our 2020 godhead run that we had the one time after getting ian's blessing that was a run that was like oh yeah we could go anywhere with this run we were actually just destructive with that so i i feel like this could be this could be pretty good this could this could get really nice only if we got our damage up because look right now we have a 13 a little bit above 13 like What's a, a fifth of 13 is like two. So we have like 15 DPS, right? Um, and so we did have before, we had four damage and like three tier eight. That right there is 12 DPS. So like now we do have a higher DPS right now. As long as we hit all of our, all of our tiers. So like we could get some pretty crazy DPS. Now some people do say they like almond milk more than, or almond milk more than soy milk. Because it's a lower tier eight down, I think it's also a lower like a lower damage reduction so i don't know it's i don't know i don't know what i don't know how i think feel about it um but you know what i'm just gonna do this real quick because why not i'm not wasting another bomb i can't do that and i'm not gonna go alt path i don't like alt path would be pretty easy with this setup just because we do have so many tiers that knockback would be nice but i'm still not super confident about this run i don't know how to feel about this and as you saw, I did skip the Devil Deal, which we were pretty lucky to get that. I'm glad we got the Devil Deal. Uh, but I think Angel Deals are just going to be the way. Godhead would be really cool. Flight's going to be really cool. Any health we can get is always nice. And, like, especially with, like, runs like this, any, like, run that is, like, decently strong in the beginning, it's kind of just a, matters, a matter of how much health do we have. If we have enough health, we should be fine. I'm taking way too much damage. This is the classic Curse of the Unknown effect where I just take all the damage in the world. And I just let myself get way too much damage done to me. And watch this. We go like this. Get off the body. And we're just going to try to force him into the corner. And once he splits up, we then use the chariot card. To try to split you up even more. And that's really cool that we still shoot out tears. But yeah. I feel like that was pretty pretty quick of taking out of the guy. Of uh, Ultra Envy. Envy is like one of the worst bosses in the game. But at least we got an item from that. We might be able to get Beezlebub. I still am on the team of, I think Beezlebub might be one of the best transformations just always because flies are those, the enemies that just do those, the damage that you hate the most. And what the heck was that? That goes on like a sick clips compilation of just going crazy with a little Gertie. I'm going to have a little Gertie compilation of all the trick shots. Like we just killed every enemy in this entire room with that, or in that entire room. That was crazy. Okay. Let's just shoot the mushroom until these guys pop up. Let's not waste our time. And man, little Gertie does so much damage. And once again, we always bomb our rocks because you never know what's going to be under the rocks. You got to do it. If you don't bomb the rocks, you're just not gaming. And that's just true. Uh, we don't need you. Oh, wait. Apparently, we don't have full red heart health. Interesting. I think that's because... Did we get a... No, we didn't get a red heart. Or, I don't know. We might have just had like low red heart health. Yeah, we did have no red heart health at the beginning of the last floor because we kept got getting damaged. I'm trying to think, think of what happened. That's fine. Okay, now we're full on red heart health, and I think we should st still have like three hearts of soul heart health. Or we at least should have that much. Nice. And we're doing good on bombs and keys. I'm not wasting them too much. I'm trying to be smart with my bombs and keys, or like smarter than I usually am. And so hopefully we can end this run with not too many keys on in our inventory, but like have enough through the entire run to like get all the secret rooms and just get everything we need. Was this a... This is probably the secret room. Yeah, there we go. And we've not been having good luck with secret rooms lately. Honestly, the secret rooms we've been getting have been just very lame. It's a lot of just coins. A lot of coins. I might as well pay this guy out while we're here. I'm going to drink some water while I'm doing this. I went to dinner tonight with my brother and my mom. So my dad's out of town, so we're like, you know what? We're going to go get some food. Have like a little mother-son night and I had a bunch of french fries and french fries are salty I also had a chicken sandwich and so everything was just very salty lots of sodium so now I'm just thirsty it's one of those dinners that you know just like if you go to sleep without drinking like a cup of water before you go to bed you're going to die of dehydration in your sleep you guys know that you guys know like the feeling of waking up like sitting up in bed and just feeling like you're gonna shrivel away into dust because you're so thirsty I had that the other night happen to me and it was oof. I literally just got up, and it, it, was, it wasn't even at night. Ooh, this is awesome. Poison shields are really good. 
what I will do is also blow this up to see if it's magic mosh and you might think that was stupid but I think that's smart um, but one reason I took Scorpio is because Scorpio is a cool item because it's guaranteed poison damage and poison damage is huge for, huge for us because we're gonna have a lot of tears hitting enemies but we don't do as much damage so the little tick damage from poison could be awesome but yeah it was the other day I woke up at like 7 a.m. my dad was just like sitting in the living room I was just like, I need water. So I went and got water. I'm like, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so I woke up like three hours later. I was like, yeah, I was I was dying of dehydration. It's because I think, I don't remember what we had that night. I don't know what it was, but I was thirsty. Uh, and you know what? We're just going to donate to the machine. See if we can get a higher angel chance on this floor. Maybe we can get an angel chance on this floor. Or, no, we can't. Never mind. I was hoping maybe we could, um, but the bracelet, I'm not going to buy it. I was thinking maybe if we bought it, there's going to be a way to somehow go to the item room and drop it. That can only happen if we get something like uh, butter. You know what? Actually, I am going to take the bracelet. I think the bracelet is very good. If you guys have never used the bracelet before or don't know what it does, it just picks up rocks. But if you, you can cheese it a little bit, and there's no cooldown if you drop rocks. So you can pick up every rock and destroy every rock in a room. And it makes it so it's much easier to find crawl spaces and it's easy to destroy tinted rocks so you don't need bombs anymore for tinted rocks um if you do pick up a rock and throw it however you have to recharge the bracelet but it's not a long cooldown so we come here we throw you we get this and like this right here makes our life easy if we find a bomb rock we can actually use that bomb rock as a bomb which is very nice uh and i can also blow up mushrooms like this which is also pretty cool Another thing that's kind of interesting about this is you can actually take rocks through rooms with you. Which is kind of interesting. It's so like right here. I can just throw that. Ooh, like one thing. I, okay. One thing I could do is take this mushroom all the way back to the item room with me if I really wanted to, like this. And then try to get magic mush in there. I was going to say that'd be cool if I could re like re roll magic mush with the re roll machine. But I'm like, wait, I would not re roll magic mush. There's no reason to try to get magic mush in the item room. That's why I changed my mind. I wish you could pick up like these rocks right here. Like it does, it makes sense that you can't, but at the same time, it would make sense if you could. And little gritty does so much damage. We just need to get some damage out there. And once we get like one more damage up, I mean, one damage up increases our DPS by like three damage. So this is gonna be pretty good. This is actually pretty decent because that means that every left tier is gonna be plus one damage, which is good. We also like wafer, and we might as well fight the angel over here. The angel, getting the key piece is always good because fighting Mega Stand is a more fun way to end runs than just fighting Blue Baby or like Lamb. I would say that they're just really, really easy. And so if we can end a run with Mega Stand, it kind of feels like we finished the run with something good. Oh, okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, but we do get pills. One is that, and one is Bad Trip, which is no fun. Uh, but we should be good to go next floor. We're getting really lucky with our deals right now. Getting two deals on the first two floors after like losing your t your chance or your devil deal chance is pretty insane. And poison damage is really cool because it still does damage while hosts are down, and so you'll usually kill hosts if you are able to shoot them once. It's pretty cool. It's really nice actually. So now I'm just trying to see if there's any tinted rocks anywhere. I want to like just pick up every rock I see just to like look for a crawl space. I have to make sure that I don't throw the rock. Like, it's okay to throw a rock if you're trying to throw at an enemy, but there's no reason to throw a rock if you're not going to throw at an enemy. Wait. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is where we just have to shoot the enemies like crazy. Try not to get hit by the poison. With these guys, you just have to stay as far away as possible from them. And as you see, the range on them is so stupid. Like, it, it's such a fast attack that can just hit you anywhere you are in the room. It can go from one side of the room to the other. So it's one of the... It's not the hardest t attack to dodge, but it's like the easiest attack to get hit by, in my opinion. Nice. We use a rock to destroy you. And you're going to be dead. Now, just give us left hand. I'm going to take left hand to see if we can maybe get guppy. Because uh, if you guys don't know what left hand does, it makes it so all chests are replaced with red chests. And red chests usually have uh, soul hearts in them, uh, fly like enemy flies, enemy spiders. So it does have some bad stuff in them, but... It could also get us guppy items or other devil deal items. Uh, not really that many. It can give us, actually, it's like either Bob's Curse, Magic Skin, or guppy items is pretty much what it can get. 
I don't think I'm trying to think of what other items you can find. I think that's about it. Uh, but this is a good room for us. I feel like this is the run, if any, that we get magic mush in. We start throwing mushies. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge and weave, dodge and weave, duck and weave, whichever one it is. It's one of those sayings. And I need to be careful with mushrooms because they do have the fart cloud that can hurt you. So I'm just like throwing them as far away as I can. Okay. And this is nice because taking mom's bracelets actually is a pretty smart idea. I feel like I don't take it enough. Uh, just because it like it just lets you destroy stuff, and I don't know if it makes it so you can't get drops from the items that you throw. Hopefully not. I mean, we got a drop from the tinted rocks. That would make like zero sense. But still, I don't know. It's kind of weird that none of those dropped a pill. I think we just got really unlucky right there. We'll test our theory. Okay, no drop. Okay, that one dropped a pill. Now I'm wondering if that one would, would have dropped a pill if I threw it. Range down is never fun. And bloody recharge is useless for us, so we're just gonna grab the soul heart. I know we're really good in health. I didn't even need to buy that. But we're just gonna have take some precautions. You know, it's always good to have a lot of health instead of not have a lot of health and worry about it later. Okay, so that did drop a pill, so we might be able to get. I mean, we should be able to get magic mush if magic mush is in one of these. No, we are not addicted. Stop. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, of course, we take. We take both of them. Okay. I did not even realize that that was a double item room. That's really weird. In all my time of playing Isaac, I've barely ever gotten a double item room. But, like, in the past, I would say 15 runs, we've gotten multiple. Like, there was one run, the Brimstone Sacred Heart run that we had a few Eden Streaks ago. We got both Brimstone and Sacred Heart. I, that's obvious. I literally just said that. But we got multiple double item rooms on that, on that run, which is weird. Like, they're not common. They're really not. They're quite rare, actually. But we got them. It's cool. And it'd be so cool if we got Magic Mush. I'm just going to blow this up and see if this is the secret room. It's not. And I know that was my last bomb. I just realized that. That's my bad. I'm not supposed to be using bombs way too crazy like that. But hey, we needed to. It was required. Watch this. We're going to turn this worm into something else. Let's go. Honestly, a GB bug really scares me sometimes because you can turn enemies into some crazy stuff. Like, you'll actually shoot at an enemy and all of a sudden you got delirium in front of you. Not actually, but that's kind of what it feels like. It can go really, really crazy with what I, or what boss or enemies it spawns. Are we in Caves 2? We are in Caves 2. That's a shame. That means we're on the end of the floors with mushrooms. Like, there's still going to be mushrooms, but just not as frequently. There's always a lot of mushrooms on Caves 2. So that means no magic mush for us, but we are just going to come in here and absolutely go crazy on this boss. We do do a lot of damage. We just need some sort of damage up. Like the one damage up that we got, Clot, it, you, can't, you don't actually see it in your stats that you get the damage up, but you actually get this damage up. It is, it is a thing. You get the damage up only in your left eye. So we're doing a little bit more damage. We're doing... I don't know how much it really adds. It's supposed to add one damage, which I don't know what how much that is. Uh, ooh. I don't know how much that is when you take into account we have almond milk. But that's really good. Now we have much higher tier rate. And I would like to take left hand, but that's fine. We're not going to get Guppy this run. It's not going to happen. We're just going for angel deals. Just how it is. So, let's see. We're already on, on Necropolis 2 as well, which is pretty awesome, you know? We're going crazy. And I think I mentioned this uh, a couple of Eden ago, but I am going on vacation soon. I'm leaving this Friday on vacation to Tennessee, so I don't exactly know what my plan is for videos. I was going to try to record Eden Streaks for the week, but it's very stressful to try to pre-record a bunch of Eden Streaks. So what might happen is there might be a week of no videos or no Eden Streaks at least. I might try to upload some edited content um, and have like maybe three videos go out while I'm gone. Um, but yeah, I think that might be how it is. If that does happen, just know that there is going to be a slight delay. There's going to be a few, like there's going to be a week off. I'm going to be gone for seven days, but I'll be back on track when I get back. So you guys don't need to worry too much. The Eden Streak is not ending. There's, there's going to be a slight halt. 
but I know that's not not everybody watches all the way through all the in streaks, so you might not some people might not hear this and that might be con confused. So, if anybody asks, if you see anybody ask, tell them it's over. He died. He's not uploading. He he it's it's done forever. Make up some excuse of why I'm not uploading. If somebody asked that question anywhere. I don't know where they would ask it. But you got it. You got to tell them that it's it's over. Tell them I I cheated and got canceled by the Russian government something. Let's go. Compound fractures like the craziest thing. Let's go. Okay, compound fractures insane, especially with almond milk because it does make it have so make it so our tears have the split effect where they split a bunch. But because we have tractor beam the splits only go into our tractor beam path so it's very cool um and now do i want i could buy the red key fragment i'm going to buy it because like why not that gives us a one time red key use and we might be able might just be able to find the ultra secret room which we got to use it smart real smart like right here kind of smart but you know what the smartest area to use it in is I don't know. I feel it. I feel that's off right here. I feel like it's right over here. I don't know if you guys believe in this, but I sure do. And we can actually look for the secret room. Actually, yeah, we're going to look for the secret room real quick. If you have a key fragment or if you have the red key, you can actually find secret rooms very easily. Wait, what hit that? Also, is this... It, it should be right here. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know how this works, apparently. Well... That's not where the secret room is. I just wasted both my bombs. Now, I know the whole idea of, like, don't waste your bombs. We can use our bombs on secret rooms. Like, that's fine. How am I getting hit so much? You know what? I don't think the secret room's back over there. That's not worth it. No part of that's worth it. You know what? No, I have a gut feeling. Yo, if my gut says something, I gotta trust it. And let me throw all the skulls. I am gonna... I'm the person who does forget to, like, throw skulls and, like, to touch rocks. I, I know I can literally do this infinitely and find a crawl space pretty easily if I wanted to. But I forget about it. I'm like, it, that takes so much time, so much brain power. I should be doing it more, though. It will help benefit me greatly. You know what? We're actually gonna use it right here. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, we did get Guppy's Collar. Guppy's Collar is a decent item. I mean, it's not going to help us too much. If we die, we might come back to life, which is pretty cool. It's always nice to die and come back to life, but it's never nice to die. So, like, having it is not guaranteed that you're going to come back. So, it's like, okay, if something really bad happens, we have to cross our fingers and hope we come back. But usually, if I, if I die in those situations, I come back and I'm, like, just, I'm, like, real, real not good off. I'm just like, oh, dang. Well, I'm back alive now. What? I have no health and I have to, like, fight delirium? No way, Jose. And did I miss a tinder rock or anything? I did not. I did not. Okay, nothing. We try to get out of this floor. I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for a new adventure. I'm ready for the Necropolis 2. It's probably going to be Deaths 2. I'm ready for it. And, like, look how much damage we do. Like, we got... Okay, why did you guys jump this way? With Cancer, we just have so much more tier rate that we just, like, absolutely go crazy on enemies. And with Compound Fracture, we just do, like, an extra, I don't know, probably, like, it's almost, maybe almost two times damage. I don't know how much it would be whenever it breaks off into the smaller tiers. But I do know that the smaller tiers do have a uh, smaller amount of damage. So, I don't know. Maybe it's, like, 25% more damage. You know what? We are going to go Mausoleum today because we got a good setup. I should have thrown those skulls. It's just how it is sometimes. We're hoping for an angel deal. Like, look at this. I mean, we just have poison damage, so we don't really have to peek stuff too much. We can just shoot across the room. If something's going to get hit, it's going to get hit. Like, Tractor Beam makes your life really easy. Because, like, you just, like, walk. You can, like, dodge enemies and still like, hit them with every single tier you have. Okay, how are you not dead yet? What the heck? That was crazy. He was dodging and weaving like crazy. Okay, that's okay. We might lose our angel deal chance, which is not the best thing ever. We're fine. Oh, Iron Maidens are really not cool. Iron Maidens are really not cool. Unless they are. You know what? Iron Maidens, you get, you get the cool kid pass just for the day. Oh, I thought that was going to touch me still. And somehow we are breaking through the rock every once in a while. I'm just going to start shooting rocks. Okay. We have very fake 
uh, spectral tears right now. And please have a black heart in you. Please have a black heart. Please have a black heart. Might as well come in here. If you guys didn't know, you don't actually lose your angel deal chance by taking like self damage from like spike chests, um, sacrifice rooms, curse rooms. So if you don't have soul heart health, you might as well go in there. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. The sh the shot from the shot from the triple shot turrets is never cool. Like look at this. Oh, I see what we're doing. If we walk from here down, we actually bring our tears over. So like they hit because they're just being brought down. Okay, good. I feel like there's a tinder rock in here. I don't know why I feel like that, but I don't see anything, so I'm just leaving. Oh gosh. Okay, I, I can't be, I'm like, why is there so much blood on the ground? I'm like, these guys aren't even walking close to me, but there's still blood. And I realized we had headless baby, and everything made sense. Okay, um, you're right next to where I need to go. Let me just get you through. Okay, let's we'll come over here real quick. Okay, let's just get over here. Oh gosh. Okay, good. I just really don't want to lose my my deal. I could have like gone through this room a lot easier. You can literally just walk behind these guys if you have something that can destroy, destroy rocks. And this room gets really easy. So let me make sure there's not a tender rock anywhere. I don't see a tinted rock. Don't see a tinted rock. No tinted rock. Yeah, I don't see anything that looks of use to me. No black heart, which kind of sucks. But we win now. We win game. We do well. I'm a little concerned right now. I, I want to make sure that I can get my angel deal. Not really because I'm, I'm scared I'm going to lose the run. But more because I'm just concerned that the run won't be fun if I lose an angel deal. You know? Okay, what are you? Speed up, luck down. I'll go to three arts of health. Nice. Honestly, Horror Babylon's not the best item we could have asked for. Um, definitely better stuff out there. Okay, yeah. I was going to lose my devil deal no matter what just then. I didn't know what else to do. But now we just stand here. If you stand at like just one of the edges of the room, you usually don't get hit. There's some instances that you do hit, hit, so like don't listen to my what I'm saying. But sometimes also do listen to what I'm saying. I kind of know what I'm talking about. At the same time, I don't. So who knows? If you listen to me, you might you might succeed. Okay. Uh, still no Tinder Rock. I'm kind of mad that there's no Tinder Rock, but hopefully. Oh, I hate this room so much. Watch this. What we do? We step up, step back, step. Step up, step back. Step up. Now we do well. Okay. Um, We don't need range down. What we do need is just all these rocks to get out of here. This is where we look for a crawl space. This is a good room because it just has all these easy to access rocks. And they're all in a nice line. They make my life easy. We do need to be careful about the bomb rock. There we go. And I'm kind of surprised we've not found a crawl space yet. I feel like we find crawl spaces in the weirdest ways. Usually if I find a crawl space, it's like, it do, it's just it's just randomly. I, like we touch a random, random troll bomb, it blows up one rock and there's a crawl space. Like, okay, that's fine with me. This is what we're talking about. This is going to be a damage down, but we get double the tiers. And so these tiers, no matter what, if one of our tiers hits, they're both hitting. Like, that's a guarantee at this point. And let's just be smart about this. We're going to take you. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh one gets us into the secret room. And I'm just going to bomb into the shop. I know I don't need to, but I might as well. It is just a keeper. Greed. Make sure the money... And money equals power would be pretty nice right now. If we got money equals power, we'd probably be able to get up to like 2.4 damage at 99 coins, I think. Which 2.4 damage with a 17 tier rate is really, really good. Okay. You know what? That was like the most illegitimate hit I've ever seen, but he can have it. He needs it. And we do just kind of shred. Like we don't do a lot of damage, but if we're constantly hitting an enemy, 
It's just a, it's a good amount of consistent damage. So we're kind of just like a laser beam. And the health upgrade's always nice, and always go into the devil deal. I mean, there's no, there's no reason to skip the devil deal if you've already gotten your angel deal, because you're never gonna get a 100% angel chance. You don't lose your angel chance if you go into the devil deal. Okay, so what I am gonna do, I'm gonna take Satanic Bible because it does give us a dumb amount of uh, black hearts. And right now we're trying to make sure we can get our deals. And so if we don't have any soul heart health or black heart health, we're gonna miss out on our deals. And so might as well take it. Like we might as well get the extra health. We really don't need um, the bracelet anymore. Like we should be pretty good on bombs. And might as well come in here. This could drop a coin. It won't, but it could have. That's the thing. Please, no secret room, okay. Well, hopefully we can find, I, we've been having a really bad time finding any secret room of any kind. Oh my gosh, you're right there. Okay, you know what, we didn't like the bone heart anyways. This is going a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. This game is being very brutal. And I always blow right up right here. Listen, trust the process. We get the soul hearts. I know I lost a bomb through that, but it's all good. And I'm not leaving this floor without getting an item room because the only reason we go to Mausoleum is to get that extra item room. So if you don't get that extra item room, why did you really even go there? That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, and we also really want to get our shop. We have a lot of money, and so we might be able to get something nice. Like Diplo would be really cool. I don't know. Would I'm trying to decide. If I found Brimstone... Would Brimstone be a cool item for me to take? Like, of course it's a cool item, no matter what. We like Brimstone. But, like, would it be good? Like, what devil deal do I want? Ocular Rift sounds kind of interesting, kind of messy. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of good items that we could get. So who knows? Whatever, whatever we do end up getting, we might take it. And we have a lot of health. Ooh, okay, that was me being stupid. I completely did not realize that that was gonna hit me. I thought, okay. I knew the reason I didn't think it was gonna hit me is because there was poop there, but for some reason I shot at the poop before I went across. I think I don't even know what happened, and that's such a shame. Getting greed on both your mausoleum shops is one of the saddest experiences ever, and that's also why membership card is one or membership card is one of the best things ever. If you have membership card, even if you get a greed fight, you still get your little uh, mystery shop. It's nice. We love the mystery shops. Uh, so... Let's just do this. And... Mystery egg? Not the craziest thing I could have asked for, but that's fine. This has kind of been a weird run so far. Lots of just interesting... Interesting items we're picking up. I'm touching so much creep. That's, a, that's kind of a reason why I don't really like... Um, taking headless baby or whatever it's called is that what's called i think it is called headless baby why can't i think of any of the items names but it's just because the any creep on the ground it's hard to distinguish your creep from enemies creeps oh my gosh how did that i don't even know how you didn't die well we're taking a bunch of damage so sometimes i just like walk through enemy creep because i'm just like mm, that's my creep on the ground or i just like hide away from my own creep because i think it's not because that's i feel like it's not my creep Let's just pay this guy out. Maybe we get a health upgrade. Maybe we get a devil deal on this floor. Who knows? Our luck's been pretty good so far. Okay, nice. We get the luck upgrade. Not luck. We get the health upgrade. And we do so much damage. I forget that, like, Mom is an incredibly weak boss. The only thing about Mom is that she does just, like, she's very elusive. She's not out much. So if you have some, like, really high DPS build... It's just easy to kill her. But as you see, it's still taking us a while to kill. There we go. We do get the devil deal. And you know what? We'll, we'll take the negative today. I'm feeling okay about this. I'm feeling like this could be fun. I don't know. We don't go with the negative usually. So this is just a good run. We have a lot of health. And we also now have Lump of Coal, which makes our combo so good. Lump of Coal means the further away our tears are from us, the more damage we do. So, like, very cool. Okay. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Eyeballs are some of my least favorite enemies. 
But now that we've gotten here, we are just trying to get through this floor. We're just, we don't care. We're trying to go to the boss as fast as we can. There's no item room. There's no shop. All there is is pain. Okay. That was just me being stupid. I'm like, I don't know how to get out of there. I'm going to come in here real quick to see what we have. You know what? That was worthwhile. Since we do have wafer, we only take half the damage, or we only can ever take at max a half heart of damage. And so it's okay. It's okay to take a little damage right now. We have a lot more health than we really need now. Like usually if you go to Mega Stand and you have 12 hearts of health, you can only get hit 12 times. But for us, we can get hit 24 times because we can only take a half heart of health every time we get hit. Nothing can do a full heart of damage to us. I don't think. I think that's pretty accurate. Okay, I'm glad. I don't understand how you pop up and then you die on the spikes, but you're not already dead on the spikes when sitting there. That's very weird. But there we go. Okay, we got pretty lucky. We found this very, very quick. I like this. Okay, money is fine. I really want money equals power. If we got money equals power, we would just be in such a good spot because we just have dumb DPS. And sadly, I just kind of realized we're not going to be able to go to Mega Stan because we only got one key piece. I don't know. Our luck's been like this run has been weird because we've had like really good luck with getting deals, but it's really bad luck with getting angel deals. Which is too bad. Okay. And now it's time to fight Satan. I've not been down to fight Satan in the longest time. Not even on like the second dead god or the second uh the second save file on my main save files. I just don't really come to Mega or to Satan as much. It's just not a fun route to take. It's also something I do pretty early usually. You know what? We might as well take missing poster. If we die for any reason, we'll become the lost. And you know what? That's a challenge that I will gladly take. And look at this. This is what I was talking about. Whenever we find trap doors, it's usually the stupidest reasons. And I wish, I wish we could take that. That'd be so nice. But seriously, we get like, we get this for the, the stupidest trap doors. When we clear every rock in a room, no trap door. When we just randomly blow it up with a worm, of course, there's a trap door. There has to be. And maybe we'll be able to find something that can get us over there. If for some reason Stitches in a, is in a random room, we'll win. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh, there could also be a library on this floor. If we can get How to Jump, we could definitely get Use Mascara. And, like, Use Mascara being a two times damage item would be insane. Because it would bring our, I think I'd bring our tier rate down to, like, 15 maybe. I think it would be pretty significant. But our damage would go to, like, 2.6. So... That's like, that's a big increase. It's really good. Okay, uh, let's not get hit. That's one thing I don't really understand. There's some people who talk about like the idea of like, um, is 2020 a good item? Is East Mascara a good item? Because they give you like, 2020 gives you a damage down, um, but it gives you two tiers. So it's like, well, of course it's better. It gives you two tiers, which is two times the damage. So like getting like a 40 per 40 percent damage down you're still getting more damage in the end like it's still a all all around increase i don't know some people are a little whack and you know what we are going to be doing this machine we'll play the blood donation machine we can see what we can do with this and maybe we can get a health upgrade the health upgrade would give us full health it would give us a speed up we really don't need that much health you know what i don't even need to do this as much as I want to pay you out, I want to make sure I have health. Like, health is always just nice to have. But, like, we already have such a dumb combo. Like, look at this. It's literally just a Gatlin gun. It looks like we have shell casings for a machine gun falling every time we shoot. We are pretty dang strong. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dodge, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Where is this stupid boss fight? I didn't even realize that mausoleum enemies are down here. Like, the whippy guy was here. I did not know the whippy, the whippy enemy from Mausoleum can be down here. That's awful. The whippy enemies are some of my least favorite enemies in the game. Like, if I'm being as real, like, all around, those are the enemies that deal the most damage to me on my most OP runs. Those guys are just, like, they know how to, they know how to hit you hard. And they know how to ruin your life. Hey, thank you. We do not need a range down. We've already been carrying a range down with us the entire time. So I really don't need the range down. Let's see what you have. Constellation Prize is huge. does give us a tier rate up, which is awesome. 
Um, and that's just really good, actually. Okay, we take you. And if we get any damage taken, we can immediately get another black heart. And we're just going to do so much damage right now because we have Infestation 2, which gives us spiders every time we kill an enemy. That's just a lot of spiders. And our spiders do a decent amount of damage. Now, Infestation 2 is better with a high damage build, not a high tier rate build, because spiders do two times your damage. And so right now, the spiders are only doing four damage, which is not crazy. But it's good enough. So now we'll go to the next floor, and as you see, we don't have full red heart health. Like, or we have a bunch of red heart health, but like, they're all empty. So we're going to take a bunch of these devil deals. There's no reason not to. We do take Eye Blyle's insane. False PhD is really good as well. We might as well take the range down. Why not? Does give us the damage up. Zazel's Rage is really bad. And a little Delirium. Like, these are just really not the best. But, Eye of Belial is such a solid item. And I don't even know what to do right now. There's just so many enemies shooting at me. But Eye of Belial is just crazy. Especially for this build. It just really makes our life easy. And we are going to get a mega, like a mega brimstone blast in a second. That's what Azazel's Rage does. As you see, that we have a spike on our head. And there's like, um, it's like the uh, Azazel is forming over us. So each room we become a little bit more like Azazel. So as you see, after we finish this room, look, we get a little bit more Azazel looking. And so every four rooms, you get a mega brimstone blast, which is pretty good. It's very useful. I don't know how we dodged all those attacks, but we did. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. We're really not getting any chests, but oh my gosh. I don't even know how to react to that. It's a lot of damage, but like, since it's only for one room, it doesn't help us too much. And the best part about like Mega Brimstone is that you can use it on a dumb amount, like a lot of rooms in a row. It does give us the free like insta clear of a, of a room, but it's never my favorite devil deal. I'm never going to take Azazel's Rage or whatever it's called if it's like offered to me in a devil deal. It's not worth it. I think I actually, I mean, I have taken it before. I mean, I did just take it now. It was a blind item, but it's just whack. It's just, there's cooler items than it. There's better things to use your health with, like, for. I just don't use it. Okay, no more chests. Wow. We actually just kind of, we just wreck. That's, like, the simple, the simplest thing I can say. We just wreck house with this build. We do get hurt a little bit, but that's fine. And why are we summoning friendly enemies? I really don't know why we're sum summoning friendly enemies because we don't have like we don't have anything that should do that. Weird. I forgot that we even had marbles with us. I didn't realize that we've been gulping trinkets this whole time. I mean, it's good that we have. What was the first trinket that we gulped? I don't even know. Okay, what are you? Dirty mind. Not the best item ever. Not the worst item. I mean, it's just another item for us to have. Oh, there. Okay, you're also here. Did not realize that. Oh, we're just taking random damage. Like, there's not even a re like a reason not to. I mean, we're gonna try to avoid taking damage, but damage can't do too much to us. And the whiz is the craziest thing ever. The whiz is super good with a uh, tractor beam. It usually makes you shoot in a V, but now we just get a free double shot that doesn't affect our tier rate or our damage. So just like look at this. Absolutely destroying. And we might be able to get the Delirium Portal here. And we don't. And we don't have the key pieces, so we're not going to be able to do Mega Stan. But that is going to be the run. That's going to be number 65 in a row as Eden. So, ah, that was a good run. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me grow this channel. It helps me just flourish as a little YouTube guy. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. So as always, guys, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.